The familiar lub-dub rhythm of your heart is very organized. It's controlled by a built-in electrical system, but some things can cause that electrical system to go haywire, and that can cause a condition called atrial flutter. Your heart is like two pumps that work side by side to move blood around your body. The right side of your heart pumps blood to your lungs to receive oxygen. The left side sends the oxygen-filled blood out of your body. Atrial flutter begins in the atria, or the upper chambers of your heart. With atrial flutter, your atria beat more quickly than they should. This usually isn't life-threatening, but it does make it difficult for your heart to pump blood effectively. This can lead to a number of problems. Anyone can get atrial flutter, but you are more likely to get it if you've had other health problems such as, uncontrolled high blood pressure, heart attack, heart failure, recent surgery, diabetes, lung disease, thyroid problems, or alcoholism. You may not have any symptoms with atrial flutter. If you do have symptoms, they may include, a fast but steady pulse, shortness of breath, dizziness, lightheadedness, or fainting, trouble doing normal activities, or exercise. A feeling that your heart is pounding or fluttering, and tightness, pain, or pressure in your chest. Your healthcare provider may be able to diagnose atrial flutter by simply checking your pulse. He or she may also recommend an electrocardiogram or ECG. This test records the electrical activity of your heart. Now, what are the ECG features of atrial flutter? First, there are rapid regular undulations or F waves that causes a sawtooth appearance. F waves are best seen in leads 2, 3, AVF and V1. Usually these F waves are inverted in the inferior leads. And there will be no isoelectric baselines between the F waves. Next, atrial rate is 250 to 350 beats per minute. It can be faster in infants and children. In this case the massive dilation of the atria can lead to a rate of more than 200 BPM. Remember, quinidine can reduce the atrial rate. Next, there is a variable ventricular rate depending on the AV conduction. The most common response is 2 on 1. Whereas, 3 on 1 is uncommon, and 4 on 1 response suggests the existence of an AV conduction defect, and may be associated with complete AV block, in which case the RR intervals are regular and the F waves have no constant relationship to the QRS. Next, the ventricular response is usually slow. And lastly, QRS complex either normal or aberrant depending on pre-existing IVCD or aberrant ventricular conduction. These are the common ECG features of atrial flutter. Don't get stressed, just remember the sawtooth. Now, let's have a look at the treatment option available for atrial flutter. Treatment for atrial flutter usually starts with lifestyle changes. These include quitting smoking, eating a heart-healthy diet, and getting regular exercise. Atrial flutter can be controlled with medicine. Your healthcare provider may prescribe two common types of medicines. These are, beta blockers, or calcium channel blockers. These work to slow the electrical activity that passes through the AV node, which is the electrical connection between the upper and lower chambers of the heart. And anticoagulants. These help to prevent a blood clot from forming in the heart. Blood clots can break loose and travel to the brain, causing a stroke. Your healthcare provider may also try to restore your heart's normal rhythm by using a procedure called electrical cardioversion. Cardioversion uses a short electrical shock to try to get your heart's rhythm back to normal. If medicine or cardioversion don't work, your healthcare provider may recommend other options. This may include a procedure called cardiac ablation, which can help your heart stay in a normal rhythm. Sometimes, electronic devices like a pacemaker may be needed to control the rhythm of your heart. Even if atrial flutter doesn't bother you, you still need treatment to avoid problems such as heart failure or stroke. Atrial flutter can also turn into atrial fibrillation over time. Want to know what atrial fibrillation or AF is? Please watch the next video and do not forget to subscribe and support us. Thank you.